on this channel, the majority of vehicles we discuss rely on lithium ion battery packs to store the electricity they need to power themselves along. From the smallest of electric car battery packs, as found in the Mitsubishi Imev, to the massive battery packs used in full size electric buses from Proterra and BYD, traction battery packs have a hard life. Aside from the high currents they need to provide to the vehicle's electric motor or motors, traction lithium ion battery packs also have to deal with high currents from rapid charging and regenerative braking, as well as extremes of temperature. And that, over time, slowly affects the battery pack's ability to provide high currents. Eventually, it could be as little as eight years or as many as 20, the battery pack reaches a point where it can no longer provide the high currents needed in an automotive application and it needs to be replaced. And it's the replacement process which has caused many people to frustratingly claim, often in the comments section of these videos, that electric car lithium-ion battery packs are terrible for the environment as they can't be recycled and must be thrown away after a few years of life in an electric car. Except that's not quite the case because long before an electric car battery pack needs to be disposed of or recycled, while not as recyclable as, say, lead acid, new recycling processes are being developed at amazing speeds, it can be used in a second life battery project. What's that, I hear you ask? Well, it's the name given to any number of battery storage products that can utilize used electric car battery packs removed from cars after they can no longer provide the high currents needed to power an electric car along the ground. Remember earlier in this video when I mentioned that electric car battery packs lose their ability to provide high currents as they age? Well, that's what makes them eventually unusable in electric cars. But while they may lose their ability to provide high currents, they don't completely lose their ability to store charge. In fact, if you take an electric car battery pack that can no longer be used in an EV due to old age and you put it in a different application where the current demands of it is much lower, then you'll find that the battery pack can operate for years and years without needing to be physically taken apart and recycled or disposed of. And that's where Second Life battery projects come in. Sometimes these projects use whole battery packs complete with the casings they had when they were in the vehicle, slotting them into specifically designed racks where they can be used as static energy storage for domestic or industrial uses. Sometimes though, the battery cells are removed from their original battery packs and rewired to operate as part of a much larger parallel wired high voltage battery array. The end result is the same. Batteries that were once used to power an electric car get a new life storing electricity and then slowly feeding out that electricity to the grid when needed, either by a sub 100 kilowatt hour battery backup system for a home or business or as part of a massive industrial scale energy storage project that's connected to the electricity grid. Either way, these batteries get to be used again, hence second life. OK, I hear you say, we get it. Electric car battery packs aren't scrapped immediately after use. They can be used for other projects. But what's the big deal? <laughs> I'm glad you asked. The reason that Second Life battery packs are so important, both from an environmental point and an economic point, is that regardless of how they get used, grid tied or not, they help store energy generated when there's an excess of power and then provide power when there's not enough being produced. In the case of a domestic battery pack connected to solar panels, this could mean storing electricity generated during the daytime and then providing power at night or when the weather is back, back to the house, reducing the need for grid generated electricity. In the case of large industrial projects, a large grid tied battery pack can reduce the number of power stations needed by storing electricity produced when demand is low, feeding it back to the grid when there's not enough power being produced, which is something that smooths out the peaks and troughs of daily power grid use. In both of these cases, these second life projects encourage the use of more renewable energy and require less burning of fossil fuels simply to satisfy demand. And that means better air quality and less pollution all round. With the first wave of modern electric cars expected to start giving up their battery packs en masse for second life projects in the next few years, the number of used electric car battery packs in circulation means that we'll see more and more second life projects. And since electric car battery packs can operate in second life projects for decades, they can continue to be of environmental benefit long after they've been pulled from the car that they were originally in. After that, 
Well, while lithium ion battery packs aren't as recyclable yet as, say, lead acid battery packs, and many consumer sized battery packs do head to landfill, there is hope. More and more battery recycling projects are coming online designed to remove as much of the useful material in lithium ion battery packs as possible. And while they have their challenges, can reuse some of the metals that currently make up lithium ion batteries. For example, researchers at Chalmers University in Sweden published details of a new low temperature, low CO2 recycling process for lithium ion battery packs last year, which they say could result in 95% of lithium ion battery packs being recycled, dramatically reducing waste. In other words, there's most certainly a life after the electric car for every lithium ion battery pack out there, and it could be a very long life indeed. That's it. As always, hit the notification bell to hear the moment a new show is uploaded. Subscribe to both of our channels. And if you fancy it, support us by using one of the two links below or by buying something from our shop. Thanks for watching. And as always, keep evolving.